We are now at Mountain Island Lake, a place we call it Little Italy Peninsula Art Center. And it's a little grouping of houses. They're all built in the same way, uh, simple structures. And um, each house has four studios for artists to work in. It's located in the, in the middle of the property. So uh, uh, easy access for everybody. And uh, we are all together here as a group of artists and can share our experiences. Uh, and then we have going in one direction is more uh, an area for stimulation, for uh, creative thinking, for uh, getting inspired. And uh, going north in the other direction is the thought of maybe uh, uh, having a, shows of our works coming from the middle where the production is actually here. This room is, is um, where it all begins. I, um, it's kind of like a little secret area uh, because it's, uh, it's personal elements that I treasure and um, uh, I know that in the future uh, something will happen with the material that I have here. And um, I am protecting. It's like where I have my toys, where, where I, um, I have my little people uh, that I have some kind of a relationship and um, th they are assembled here and together with some, some other uh, materials that, um, that I bring them together with when I create my environments. I take them with me on, on the walks here at Little Italy, uh, go through the woods and put them uh, in different uh, situations, play with them until it goes away and then I come back here. So the, uh, here I have uh, just a variety of ideas that have evolved and uh, I put little scenes together at the very beginning. So I have like little piles of ideas that uh, at the spur of the moment, I might be um, intrigued to take one of them, take it in my pockets and walk away and take my camera and, um, and uh, create these scenes. We're now in the in a showroom that uh, I can look at images that are finished. The ones that are framed are um, those that go to galleries. And um, so, for example, if if uh, if you look at that green one with the nails, so that's uh, one of the figurines that is here, not yet finished, not framed, but it will go. It's close to being finished, will be on canvas and then framed. Uh, so all these on that wall, you see there are these figurines. Uh, and then lower standing on the floor is uh, another figurine that will go uh, to the College of Art and Architecture show. And then uh, the, the larger one here is um, the motion picture that will go also to a gallery. In this area, uh, we see again figurines on the, on the wall, uh, straight down. The three images, they are not framed yet, but the framed ones uh, will come soon and then they go to uh, UNC uh, Art and Architecture College, also downtown. Yeah, this is an uplifting image for me. It uh, shows a girl that walks into spring and uh, f for, the, for the gallery of the UNC's, we, uh, we created um, a special installation on fabric for the, the window that goes to the street where the, where the gallery is. So it will be uh, a collection of, of uh, manipulation of this uh, mother image, what I call it. This is derived uh, from a series of 
shots with with the idea of of this girl in spring and uh, uh, fr from from this we took uh, elements to create these uh, these curtains for the gallery these images here are our winterscapes uh, from Switzerland uh, was a lot of snow and um, I transformed them into into these uh, stretch landscapes. Towards the back of the studio, uh, we see the, the printer that's a me medium size. We can go up to 44 inches in width and um, any, any kind of length that, that they get these rolls. And then we have, have the longer pieces. We stretch them out here and um, check them. And um, they also need to be uh, treated uh, for UV. And um, so you, you want to be sure that you uh, have it appropriately protected. There is a... In process is a little image that uh, we went from from medium to larger and, and thought maybe this is now uh, uh, an interesting size, small, small, but in a, on a large uh, surrounding, it will have a, a glass glass over it, protected. I think it makes a good contrast to some very large um, imagery that I that I will have like 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 this one here which is actually a cloth um, and here in this this corner is where Tori right now is working on on spotting um, a lot of work, uh, when it comes from the printer, uh, has some impurities that can be uh, fixed with some paint. Uh, we, we take the, the paint that comes uh, in, in the cartridges of the printer, we use that uh, to, to touch it up so that the color stays consistent. And, uh, and then, of course, it, after all is said and done, it has to be fixed also um, with fixative and, and the UV protected and all that. And here too, you see the, the images are here, here to, to dry, some printed on gold and some of metal. So they're not quite ready to, to be framed. I, my creative process is not uh, uh, thought out, it is picked up, it's there and, um, and then when I have the, the chance to photograph it, then uh, that, that's the first step has been taken then. And then from there it, it goes to the computer and then uh, to one of the medias that I can print it on or, uh, or it will be rephotographed again or I take an image that is now a two-dimensional picture for example and uh, take it with me and go to the lake and put it in the water and put some sand over it and start all over again so it's it's a uh, very often it's just a wonderful playing with with what is around me.